Okay, so in this uh, lecture, we are going to discuss about uh, the last part of this chapter, which is uh, the nested quantifiers. So let us see some simple problems on uh, nested quantifiers first. So let me start with the first problem will be we will write in words. Okay, let us try to write in words how to use nested quantifiers. So let us look at these uh, two things. Write the following in simple words. So the first one is for all x, for all y, x plus y is equal to y plus x, where x plus x and y belongs to R. Okay. So we will now write this uh, statement in words. So what is the meaning of this? If you take any x and if you take any y, which are real numbers, then x plus y will give you the same answer as what y plus x okay this we want to write in words now this property of uh, real numbers is actually called that the uh, this property is called commutativity okay this is called commutativity that x plus y is equal to y plus x commutativity with respect to which operation this is commutative with respect to addition operation right you know that if i even in real numbers x into y will give you the same answer of what y into x so this property will be called as what this property will be called as commutativity with respect to what commutativity with respect to multiplication but we are not interested in this property right now so the, actually this this property is telling us that in real numbers you have commutity with respect to the addition operation. This is the actual meaning of the complete sentence, right? So how will I write in words? For any x and y, x plus y always equal y plus x now here i'm i'm no i'm nowhere write, uh, writing what are x and y so i will say for any real numbers x and y for any real numbers x and y x plus y always equals y plus x now look at the second one for all x x is a real number okay y is also a real number for all x there exist y x plus y is equal to zero okay so what is this trying to tell you if you pick if you choose any x okay if i choose any real number x okay x is a real number if i choose any real number x then i will be able to find y then right we can find at least one y which is again a real number such that the addition of those two numbers will be equal to how much will be equal to zero see if i choose a real number five okay then can i choose a real number can you choose a real number such that the addition of these two numbers is zero the answer is yes what is that real number that real number should be minus five correct so this is what this property is trying to tell us in terms of quantifiers so if you choose any x which is in real number there exist means we can find at least one y such that the addition of those two numbers will be equal to how much will be equal to zero right so for for any real number x we can find means there exists right we can find a y which is again a real number such that there sum is equal to equal to zero okay 